Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to realign your park reverse neutral drive indicator. All you have to do is remove this piece here, and there's a little dial, and you can spin it, and it will move that indicator to where you want it to be. To get this piece off, get that piece off, there's three screws that are in the bottom piece. So one there, one there. So these screws or bolts, if you want to call them that, are 5.5 millimeter. If you don't have a 5.5 millimeter socket, a 7 seconds inch will work as well. And you see they're really tiny. screws removed. You just want to try to separate these pieces. So you see how it separates there. And then that will just slide off so it just basically snaps into place there and honestly you may not have even had to remove those bolts from the bottom <laughs> although it definitely gives this some ability to move around so you may be able to do this without removing the bolts but I've always done it with the bolts off with everything off you can see that's the dial right there. And if you turn it that way, it moves the indicator this way and vice versa. So you see now that's right on the P. I think the more important test is getting it on the D. So I like to have mine centered on the, the drive and that way it pretty much centers on each one. So it's that simple. Just that dial right there, it's got the black teeth on it. While I have this off, some of you are going to ask, how do you replace this piece here? Well this, if you buy it from Ford, is part of the shifter assembly. So you get a whole new assembly with the uh, overdrive on and off button, and it has this little wire that connects to tell it to do that. Um, I've heard of some literally pulling this over the end and trying to do a junkyard swap. That's not how it comes from Ford. So, you know, do that at your own risk. I don't really think this is meant to stretch over the end of it, uh, but they all get tore up here because people stick the key trying to get in here and they, they hit there or there and just tears up over time putting this back together reverse of removal just slide this piece in line it up and snap it together with the bottom piece And when you've got it right, this will fit in all the way around and all those little clips on the sides will snap into place and you'll hear them click. And then I'll put the bolts back in that I removed. Again, 
those may or may not actually have to come out to get that top piece off although I think it does make it a little bit easier the problem with these bolts is they're not really 5.5 millimeter they're not 7 30 seconds they're not 5 millimeter so they're between 5 millimeter and 5 and a half millimeter So none of the sockets want to hold them tight. 730 seconds is a little bit bigger than 5.5. But once you get them started, then they go in pretty easy. So hope that was helpful. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And please tell your friends about my channel. Thank you very much. So there's the after park never centers up with the others so if you center up park then all the others are going to be slightly to the left if you center all the others then park is slightly to the right so I choose to have them centered up when they're on the other letters that's my personal preference